Hey guys, Insomni here with some more AFK Arena. So we just hopped over to the free to play account on the test server and it looks like we have brand new patch notes for 1.38. So let's go ahead and look at the patch notes, see what we get. Um, our servers will be unavailable, so they're giving us 1200 diamond compensation, which is very, very cool. Added the new wilder hero, Saurus, the Risen Warrior. So we've seen his skills and everything, very, very cool. Um, cannot wait to see him. I believe he is going to be a warrior class, hence the name. So it will be a very good addition to the Wilder team. Added a new skin for Leica called the Glade Keeper, which can be found in the war within the wardrobe feature. So Leica is the next hero to get the new skin. Cannot wait to see that. New additions and optimizations. Added the re revised Heroes of Esprit event that includes modified rules. So the Heroes Vesperia, I believe, was the PvP event that not many people were um, very much into. Very, very difficult. A lot of pay to win. Higher players definitely just rocked out the Heroes of Vesperia event. The new Voyager Wonder is dropping, which is the Frozen Hinterlands. Very cool, which will be 7 or 5 7. So that'll be, I believe, tomorrow. Adjust difficulty of some of the King's Towers and added new floors, making the total number of King's Tower floors 600 floors. That is a ton of King's Tower, and that is just an absolutely amazing amount of loot. Completely reworked the visual effect of Hero Union badges, which is very, very cool. Added new achievements to the achievement feature, as well as the corresponding stickers and badges. Um, approved the performance of badges. Added four additional item slots to the barracks. Common Enhanced Tokens will be available prior to completing Stage 1240, and Twisted Essence will be available after completing Stage 1240. Wow! So four additional item slots to the barracks, and they're going to have Twisted Essence available in the barracks. The barracks will reset once this update has been implemented. That is very, very exciting, because when you look at the Elder Tree, short of the event, uh, short of events or the Twisted Essence bosses, there was no other way to get Twisted Essence. So now if you're able to actually buy it from the shop, will be actually huge in your accumulation of the Essence. Once you start getting up to the 20s, 30s, 40s, especially even higher than that, Twisted Essence is very, very hard to come by, and it takes a long time to accumulate the twisted essence you need to level up the elder tree added the emblem choice chest to the labyrinth store wow that's very cool too so now the lab store is going to have an emblem choice chest which come which become available after completing 24-60 so both of those additions are super super friendly uh free to play which is very cool the labyrinth store will be reset one upon this has been implemented so those two are absolutely huge Thank you, Lilith. That's exactly what you guys have been talking about, adding more to the free to play. So now the Twisted Essence, you can get them as free to play in the barracks. You can get Emblem Choice Chests, so you're gonna be able to get your red chests out of the Labyrinth Store, which is absolutely phenomenal. So we have an update to Leica, optimize the visual effect of her animation, rework the ability Foes for Fragility for specific review the in-game description, and swap the order so that'll be very cool to see her rework. And this is the reason when a lot of people talk about ascended heroes, such as Leica, as you can see here with Estrilda, um, even Rain, I know Rain is used as fodder. Thane, most people use as fodder. Really good in PvP though. But when a hero is reworked, just like we've seen with Scrag, he went from absolute fodder to an absolute monster on the Mauler team. So th that's the reason kind of banking some of the heroes you might not use today, but all it takes is one rework and then the hero is absolutely phenomenal. And at that point, you'll already have her built. Um, Estrilda optimized the visual effects, adjusted several effects of Estrilda's abilities, adjusted the secondary and tetrier levels of Estrilda's royal charge, so we're going to have a lot of chart changes. So Sophia as well. Sophia's appearance will now change once legendary assist assisted. Fixed a problem that prevented the ability scattering bolt from being used as a normal attack when the requirements, signature item, skill, arcane power were met. That is absolutely huge. If you know anything about Sophia, once Sophia hits her maximum power, as they say, um, her normal attacks turn into scatter bolts, and they're going on scatter bolts going forward for the rest of the, the remainder of the battle. So if she's not getting the scatter bolts when she should, that 
is a ton of damage, and that is additional stuns when she does her scatterbolt. Athalia optimizes visual effects. Visual effects I love, but not a big difference. Um, Layla, the twins, Celestial Twins, fix an issue that occurred where some parts of the Twisted Realm feature where the ability Union would cause an ally's attributes to be increased by an excessive amount. So just fixing fixing problems with the twins, as you can see. Um, Wukong, fix an issue that is preventing Wukong clones from correctly triggering the Elder Tree ability, Shattering Force. That's a very big increase as well. Kalthar, the Plague Grip, fix an issue where the Eternal Resurgence would prevent Elder Tree abilities. So it seems just a lot of tweaks for the heroes. Verk, fix an issue that would prevent the ability Piercing Bolt from being used as a normal attack. Yeah, that means Verk is going to do more damage there. Kazard, too, fix an issue with the signature item Frozen Curse, which was not correctly extending the duration of Tassie's Slumber ability. Very cool. It makes Kassard a little bit more powerful. Warwick fixed a problem causing the ability extrinsic, what would sometimes cause a visual anomaly. So a lot of fixes here. Fixes to Warwick, Kazard, to Verk, to Kalthar, to Wukong, the Celestial Twin, Sophia. It seems like Sophia is getting the big love. Estrilda definitely changing up the skills themselves. The same with Laika. It seems like Laika is getting a huge, huge buff, but we're going to have to see exactly how they increased or corrected Foe's fragility, but very cool to see. Using her on my Wilder team, she doesn't seem very effective. I know the burst damage, but overall with her damage, even at Ascended level 20 signature item, doesn't seem like she does very much damage at that point. So very very cool free to free to play for the adding emblem choice chest to labyrinth sword that'll be so cool save up your labyrinth tokens now if you're past 24-60 you'll be able to buy them same with the twisted essence getting them from the barracks after 12-40 um that twisted essence is vital to increasing the ability increasing the stats of your entire team with the elder tree very very cool the badges i love to see just the changes that they do. The visual effects, like I said, not too worried about it. And we do have our brand new skin as well as our brand new hero. So it looks like the Wilder team is getting a lot of love in patch 1.38 with a new hero, a Leica rework, a new skin for her. Even though we need some of the other heroes, I know we just got Tassie, now we got Leica. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of the new patch, what you're most excited about. And as always, thank you for watching.